for today's cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> planetary alignments and the trying to get off medications is messing with both of us really, really bad. Yeah. Withdrawals are a bitch. Uh well, I mean, and I don't think people realize that. I didn't realize that there was something that was called antidepressant withdrawal. Yeah, I didn't know that either. They don't bother to tell you these things when they say, here, take this. And no, they really don't. No. And they should. Because yeah. that is irresponsible. You know why? Because every pill they sell, they get, for every pill they push, they get money. Mm-hmm. It's exactly what it's like. It's exactly what it is. So just pray for us, if you would, please, because we're kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, I got those apps going on. So it's, it's, just, right. it's one of those. And so if we seem to be a little sluggish at times, that's what's going on. Yeah. And so we're just, we, we refuse to allow this stuff to stop us. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, I'm stubborn that way. Refuse. Lots of things I refuse. <laughs> Which is, I found out something most interesting today. Things that those of us that deal in, in the paranormal and supernatural communities and such, we, this is it. This is our world. We have, most of us have done these things for a very long period of time. That is true. We have dealt with the ridicule and the scorn and the shunning and all that stuff. And so when we recently had the story about the lady that um, had the reptilian sighting on the plane and there's been, that, that got the attention of more people than I would have ever dreamed. It, it really did. Yeah. And I found a little snippet, if I can remember. I had his name. I knew I should have written the man's name down. He's a contributor to InfoWars. So that, that'd be the Alex of the Joneses. The Alex of the Joneses. <laughs> and, oh, my God. I hate that I can't remember his name. Anyhow, I'm going to link the video so it'll, it'll have his name and stuff on there. Uh, one of them was on Rumble, and the other one I found was on BitChute. And what this is, is a very short, it's like six minutes long or something like that. Uh -huh. And it gives a brief overview of different cultures, mythology, lore, belief systems about reptilians. It was, it's really cool. And what it is, this is not all encompassing. It is a brief overview where somebody can go oh wow that's cool i've not heard that before let me go and do my own research yeah but people have gotten so remarkably lazy they have people are not willing to put in the effort no and the comments my god some of them are so brutal which is glad which is why i'm glad i'm not a mega tuber because I would not do, I do not need that in my life. Yeah. You know. That's stressful as fuck. It is. It is. But if somebody's belief system, Kid and I were talking about this earlier. If somebody's belief system is so weak that they cannot listen to someone who has a different viewpoint, belief system, or whatever, then that individual needs to re-examine why they believe what they believe and formulate a plan to strengthen those beliefs indeed that is true yeah <laughs> but some of them were just absolutely crazy you would never believe that the discussion of reptilians just the discussion it and is how so it is controversial in, for some damn reason nobody can just agree in different like I said, from different viewpoints, different belief systems across the globe, all this stuff. I mean, it's historical. And for the people real. wanted to, free, they were freaking the fuck out just at the discussion of reptilians. And I think at this point, the only thing more contentious within this sphere would be flat earth. We're not would going there. We're not going there. 
but it, it was crazy. And you had people. Well, that's like another level of fucked up with that. Well, it, it's just. And I, I will go with. The, I will go there. I have listened. Fight me, flat earthers. I have listened me. to their point of view. But you can go online and you can look up basic first grade level science projects to prove the curvature. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I would rather discuss reptilians and that controversy. Now, with the video the other I don't day. Know, I had that dream that the Earth was flat because we were on like some weird space shuttle thing and it was actually like created by aliens because well, we were we on Matrix. Know. We don't know. And there are people that that is sort of kind of how they view things. The thing is, if it's flat, what is underneath? It was a bunch of shit. It was like power <laughs> shit. <laughs> now, if you want to go back to Dark City, now that was, well, it would be a spoiler here, but they do answer that question on that movie. Wasn't it a ship? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's an actually better movie. That I, it's one of those that you could watch it two or three times and go, oh, I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. All kinds of little Easter eggs in there for you. But with this recent reptilian on the plane story, and yes, the, the picture I found, somebody has got like a five song album on Amazon. I will put a link to that. So... So they don't bitch. It's like a you five used... song album. Yes, they. It's like you used my picture. Yes, I did. I gave you advertising. Shut up. So I figured free advertising. A, I figured that's a fair trade. But I free had advertising, noticed. But... <laughs> I had noticed something that this guy who claims that he was the hoodie man, the green hoodie man, and that he was a Freemason and all this bunch of stuff. Well, he has some very distinctive face tattoos. Yeah. And that the split second shot of Green Hoodie Man, there were no facial tattoos. No. And somebody had commented there on uh, Rumble that that they didn't greg reese greg reese is the reporter greg there reese. that has done this about the, the little compilation video that he hadn't included all of the tiktok that dude had said when at the end of his tiktok where he said he was the hoodie man he actually went back and said no he actually was not the hoodie man he was just doing it for views of course he was of course he was but I told Kid, I said, wait, wait, there's something ain't right. This man's face is not tattooed. Yeah. And they had Unless claimed, he magically just got tattooed. Well, like... you know, who knows what to what extent his powers, you know, entail. But somebody had said that the footage, the, the steel frame of Hoodie Man was from 2022 or something. I don't know. I don't know. All this is... This is internet magic. I leave these these things to the weaponized autisms who understand this in a level that I will never understand because they have superpowers. Yes. It's not my realm. Now, the reptilians in discussing that, that is my realm. And <laughs> Greg Grease in that six-minute video had pissed off so many people, so many factions. You had the Christians that were pissed off because he had mentioned the Gnostic Gospels. You had all these other people because it was like, people don't listen. If you go back and listen to what the man actually says, it's not, there. there's really not contradiction. And even if there is contradiction, take what you can use and leave the rest. Do your own research. Yeah, exactly. But does it talk about in scripture that there were these reptilian beings? Absolutely it does. And I did not write down, the, because I am trying to get off the lamictal, I did not write down the Jewish name for these creatures. But this is also mentioned other places. But I we know did that, hear. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I know that um, the Muslim faith, they talk about them. As far as uh, the jinn, now I, from my understanding, because I'm, I'm just learning some of their mythology, 
and really appreciate Mysterious Middle East. That is a wonderful, wonderful uh, YouTube channel. The production is great. It gives access to legends and myths and belief systems that I'm not familiar with. But they talk about the jinn as being fire spirits. So I don't know if these things can also change shape. That's a possibility. I mean, all I don't all and like otherworldly entities have the ability to change shape. A lot of them do. I don't know that all of them do. But uh, you know, Mr. Reese also mentioned as far as the Native American, some of their legends that talked about the reptilians that had lived, you know, under the earth for thousands of years. They also, uh, on a cup quite a while back, we um, talked about the Native American legend of the ant people yeah. that had taken the, the tribe under the earth while there was some kind of cataclysm on the surface and then taught them how to live and then brought them back to the surface when they, when it was habitable again. But interesting stuff. It is interesting stuff. I'd like, was it like an ant farm? I don't know. It could have been some ginormous ant hill. I don't know. Well, no, it, it was actually, farm. it was, well, I guess it ant farm with an ant could hill. have been. Uh, you know, it's just like, you know, when you have those little ant farms that you can see how they tunnel. Yeah. And the different chambers and things. So I, it works. It does. So why not? Right. Leave it. It's fine. It is. Learn. Learn from the ants. Don't be like the grasshopper so that your ass ain't freezing to death during the winter because you sat around and fiddled all day. But the reptilians, it's really, this, this story became more than just that one little, oh, look, somebody's had a freak out. There was more to that. There were other people that claimed that they did see dude's eyes instead of when he winked, instead of the eyelids top to bottom coming down that went sideways or that the pupil went sideways something it was not normal human behavior yeah right but then after watching this this greg reese report it was like wow that is just chocked full of all kinds of stuff and it goes so fast that you can go back, if you do want to do research, if you're like me, and it's like, oh, these are rabbit holes. That's yes. exactly what this is. These all kinds of, I'm not familiar with this. And, you know, I knew about Quetzalcoatl, but I didn't know about all these other ones. It's uh, just a fun name, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl is a fun name to say. It really is. So, <laughs> there's a lot of them. And, and as far as the, um, I think that it was some of the emperors in China and Japan being that they would boast of being descended, descended from dragons. Yeah, they would. Okay. What's a dragon? It's a, it's a reptile. Yeah. It's a form of reptile. But I think it's also a mammal. No, no, no. But some of them have fur. Um, I don't, it's primarily reptilian. And we don't know. I, I know what you're talking about because when I used to try to draw the Chinese dragons, they did have mustaches. Yeah, but long some of them also flowing. Had, some of them also had like manes. Mm hmm. So I don't know. That's interesting. I'm glad you said that. I hadn't really thought about it, that until then. So we'd have to look in on on that myth and see how those two things went together. Well, you have those bearded, you do have those whale, bearded dragons. Because dolphins and whales, where they got their mammals. Well, yes. Dolphins and mammals. Yeah, they're aquatic, but they're, you know, the dragons were but they're supposedly water. reptilian. But like, for example, they're sea spirits. Some of them. They had different, there were different forms. There was the... Um, the dragons that lived in the water. There were the ones that lived in the air. I'm talking about dolphins right now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I got, I was still on the Japanese dragons. Yes. I like the Japanese dragons. But I'm comparing dragons, them to them. It's like they're mammals. They're right. mammals. Even though they're aquatic, people would think that they're not. Right. So those dragons, you know. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Those dragons. Mammals. 
but it could be like a mix between the two. It could be. It could be like chickens having scaly feet. Yeah. So. Because they it, do. They do. That's some people eat those. I don't. I you know you know they call them chicken paws. Put those now. feet down. Put those <laughs> paws down. A chicken foot. That ain't no chicken paws. Chicken foot. You're not a freak. You're just stupid. <laughs> but some of these people that were freaking out in the comments, and I'm like, those of us that have been labeled tin foil hat people for years. And I had kid rehearse this. Oh God, what was it again? <laughs> you ain't tinfoil. You, you ain't tinfoil. You ain't tinfoil. <laughs> Y'all a tinfoil hat wannabe. If I unwrap that hat, it'd be Hershey's kiss. <laughs> That's a scary movie. Absolutely. That or popcorn. Uh, Jiffy Pop popcorn. That could work. I'm telling you, if if we had the means and the energy, I would start a tinfoil hat, a Warlandis cup of coffee with scream tinfoil <laughs> hat like you boutique. open it up and there's popcorn in it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, uh, take take a minute and and go to um, I don't know, either link there on um. Bit shoot or on Rumble. I don't know if it was on Odyssey. I was looking at some of my videos on Odyssey, and Odyssey is shitting itself again on something. I don't know what the hell happened there. There's one or two of them said that it's the playback had been corrupted or whatever, and it's like, well, that's on your end, dude. It ain't yeah. on mine. Uh huh. I, it's because I bragged on them. I didn't <laughs> brag on Odyssey. I bragged on the people at Odyssey. And Grey Death, God love you. We forgot to mention you in the lineup. And it's like you are always very, very loved. All our people are loved. But we just wanted to make a little something to share the recent findings. about reptiles on a plane? Yes. Do I believe that they there are shapes? Motherfucking shape reptiles. <laughs> Absolutely. And that was that was like listening to dude there that was art art bill. Uh, on Art Bell with, um, I think it was uh, David Jacobs again. I had put the links on the previous cup about the hubrids. Hubrids? What if we're all fucking hubrids? What if none of us on the planet today are purely human? That's why God needs to fix the shit. And that was part of the theory is that everybody is because of where they call it the lizard brain. But that's just what they call it. Now, why did they call it that? Like I said, I don't believe in evolution. I believe in adaptation. Because I have yet to say, well, in today's world, maybe dogs do turn into cats. Hell, what do I know anymore? But where are the things that are mid-transition evolutionary-wise? I don't know. Right. Like I said, adaptation. And they're like little by little by little. And it's like, well, you know, you don't just wake up one day and you've got a brand new species unless it came from one of these damn bio labs or something. I think we've got a lot of new species that they're just not owning up to. But go, well. go check out the video about the reptilians. Please be civil in your uh, discussions. Most of our people are really good. I think... I think in all these years, I've only had one or two that said something not nice. I mean, yeah, you've always really got somebody. Viewers. We do have really good viewers. And even the ones that choose not to comment, y'all are loved just as much as the, the ones lurkers. who do talk. We love the lurkers. I'm a lurker lurkers. myself. <laughs> he Other than is. the video, I just lurk. He is, and that's okay. I'm one of these that a lot of times I will like a, a video or I will comment on the video because I know that for some of these people that it matters as far as the algorithm or whatever. I don't think it's going to matter one way or the other. I think it's sad that I'm going to have to use the number three or whatever or I'm going to get another uh, fact check from Wikipedia, which is just how ludicrous could that be? Nah. I've managed two in one week. Oh, it's not just that. So I'm I'm just I'm flying it's what high. We're talking about they can they scan the audio. I don't know that they can scan the audio that much with our accent. Oh no, 
They can. With modern technology, yes. I don't know that they have got mountain yeah. as far as the translation on that. Have they got a little mountain speaking AI bot somewhere? Yes. Do they really? Well, God love it. Pet it on the head, give it a cookie and a cup, a cup of coffee. <laughs> Final words, kid. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that's that pretty much sums it up. If you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And like I said, the links to the video and dude's thumbnail that I'm borrowing his five song album on Amazon. Hmm. Yeah. So there you go. He got free advertising there on our little pirate radio ghost ship. Yeah. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Yeah. Support your, support those micro minis like us. There's, there's some people out there that's got some good shit. Yeah. For real. And just flying under the radar. Yes. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh -huh. gonna... We're doing good. <laughs> we have been doing good. We've been picking <laughs> up shit over the years. <laughs> Not like literal shit, but we've been picking up like, we've been picking up the good shit. Oh, I'll tell you something. They can't say that we ain't tried. And they can't say that we ain't consistent. <laughs> they can't say that we ain't dedicated. Yeah. So there you go. You all are very loved, and Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Yes. Bye. Bye. We're doing good. <laughs>